So we know it's no secret. I-35, it can be a pain to drive. And that's why TxDOT is working to add more lanes to help the commute. Well, Candy Rodriguez is live from I-35 near Ben White, where TxDOT, they plan to add two lanes in each direction. Good morning, Candy. Amanda, good morning. The $700 million project will add lanes to two sections of I-35, the north and south side part of the city, but not to downtown. And here's what that will look like. The northern segment stretches from Highway 290 East by Canick Lane all the way to State Highway 45 North in Round Rock. Their tech stop will add one lane in each direction. In the southern segment from Benway Boulevard near where we're at right now down to Highway 45 near Buda, they will add two lanes in each direction. These lanes will be managed lanes. That means it could be carpool lanes, transit only lanes, no truck lanes. TxDOT is working to figure it out. We can tell you that they will definitely not be toll lanes. So you may be wondering, what about the I-35 through downtown Austin? Why no new lanes there? That's a little more tricky. It's an expensive undertaking to redo I-35 through Austin. And we've been able to get the funding for North and South, and we're still looking to figure out how we can fund that central project. But by doing North and South first, once we begin work on that central project, which is going to be disruptive, uh, you know, have no doubt about that, then this gives drivers an option. So we did ask, how will this help drivers and how will this help traffic, especially with drivers having to funnel down to fewer lanes through downtown? Texas says this can't hurt, and they do believe that with these managed lanes, it will help keep traffic flowing. Now, north and south, the construction for those two sides of I-35 starts in 2022, and it's expected to take three to four years starting next month. TxDOT will start to host public meetings so they can get your input. Back to you. Okay, Ken.